Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. and by understanding it is established Join Apostle Joshua Selman of Eternity Network International as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of God's Word. It's intimacy, it's partnership, it's fellowship. This is Koinonia. Let's lift our hands and give God praise. In the name of Jesus, we know there is more than this. We ask you to help us tonight by the power that is in the name of Jesus. We are the desperate people. We want more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We are 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 desperate people. Psalms 80, please. We're going to be praying. Tonight is a prayer meeting. Psalms 80, verse 18, to prepare our spirit. Shiba Katopara to Supratia. The presence of God is strong in this place. There is grace to pray. Psalms 80, verse 18. Let's read it together. One to read. So we will not go back from thee. Quicken us. And we will call upon your name. You don't just pray because you want to pray. There is a grace. It's called the spirit of prayer and supplication. Hallelujah. Before we start tonight, we are going to be crying. That quickening. You will pray mechanically until that quickening comes. Are we together? So for the next few minutes, I want you to blast in tongues and shake every unbelief in your spirit. Please be serious, be serious, be serious. Go ahead and pray. Quicken us, O God, and we will call upon your name. Inside, outside, those for me, go ahead and pray, pray. We can also go. Shut up, 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 shut up
Quicken us, quicken us, quicken us, oh God. Quicken us, oh God. The flesh may be weak, but the spirit is winning. We want to make contact with spiritual realities tonight. In Prakata Praskata Prasikata Prakadabala Devoko Sopradakata Manda Baska Praska Rikato Sopregedi Barashikata Empi Goto Sopregate Barada Roshika Rikata Lete Boko Shakama Palege Bakama Rakata Lete Teva Rakata Lepo Shakata Rakata Rakata Lete Teke Paradaba Beti Kapasha Palege Barakata Rakosi In Prakata Shakata Prakata Rakata 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 Rakata
Oh, it's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's in the name of Jesus that we come tonight. It's not in the name of a man. It's not in the name of an idol. Shabakata 
It's in the name of Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Something special. Supernatural about your name. Jesus, something happens when I mention your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, I am willing and have been obedient to your principles. Therefore, I deserve to eat the good of the land. I place a demand on the strength of this reality that's how to pray you don't pray emotional prayer you don't stand on stage and speak opinions and talk nonsense the only thing that challenges the voice of the accuser is the word of God which is a testament of his will show me why God must give you a child show me why God must give you a job show me why god must give you a husband show me why witchcraft must stop attacking my family bring forth your strong reasons let me show you one more scripture i found this today and it blessed me isaiah 43 verse 26 learn this i'm teaching you that the legal dimension of prayer isaiah 43 verse 26 please read one to read put me in remembrance let us plead together declare thou on the strength of what we have discussed that he may be justified is your bible the word put me in remembrance does not mean i have forgotten give me a basis to respond upon your life because i'm a christian you are joking make your request known be anxious for nothing but in everything as you pray not by complaining make your request with, with thanksgiving my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god my secret place is calling you oh god take my praise Take my praise, it's calling you. Hey, hey, hey. Take my praise, take my praise, it's calling you. One more time, let's sing it. My altar is calling you. Oh God, my altar. My Hallelujah. The first prayer point for time's sake, we are going to be challenging the gates of limitation in our lives. We will pray for Nigeria. But I want you to pray and challenge the gates. He said, who at that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. Who at that mountain? Before Zerubbabel. Thou shalt be made plain. Right? And that will happen at the shout. Grace, grace. Lift your voice and challenge every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray, pray. Pray. speak to the mountain the bible says if you speak to that mountain it will give way if you speak kabatalapatia oh i speak i speak i speak i prophesy I command limitation in my life. You must bow in the name of the Lord Jesus. I command every limitation 
mocking the grace of God in my life every limitation mocking the power of God in my life I challenge you in the name of Jesus I command that dragon you must bow I command that dragon you must bow I command that dragon you must bow that dragon of joblessness that dragon of poverty that dragon of stagnation oh I command you I command you in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve I command you, I command you, I command you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, if thou shalt say to this mountain, not any mountain, the mountain has a name, you must call it. Don't say, God bless me, God favor me. No, 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 you need to be specific. Lord, I am tired of stagnation in this area. Mention it and command what you want to do. The Bible says, declare ye that thou mayest be justified. Lift your voice and pray. Rakata kata command it call it by name poverty I call you by name barrenness I call you by name I command you clear up my path limitation I call you by name I call you by name I call you by name you are a devil I command you to give way I tell you mountains are moving mountains are moving they must move they must move there is grace tonight challenge them call them by name Rakatakata move if thou shalt say to this mountain if thou shalt say to this mountain oh I command you I command you I command you that that God you must leave God's people tonight Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are we together? There is a mystery that exempts men from the plagues and the perils that come upon the earth. It is never in God's idea that you suffer what the world is suffering. Uh -uh. But there is a mystery of exemption. There are certain things that are written judgments. You cannot stop the judgment. It must come. But what happens is that there is an exemption. When the flood was about to come, it told Noah, build an ark. This flood, no one can stop it from coming. But I can exempt you. Build an ark. Are we together? Pharaoh had a dream. A famine was coming after seven years. Nothing will stop it. But there was a mystery. A strategy was revealed to, to Joseph. All through scripture, there have been famines. In Samaria, there was famine. But the prophet was not hungry. There was a mystery that sustained him. When it was time for breakthrough, 
he knew what to do the bible says there was a particular location please hear me hear me you have to convince yourself that you are different don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy the bible says when men say there is a casting down are we together we want to challenge that spirit that wants to include you in the sufferings that people are going through agreed there's a lot of financial hardship agreed there's a lot of downsizing but do you not know that when men say there is a casting down for you there is a lifting up you've got to believe it pray and say lord i invoke the mystery of exemption upon my life i cannot be part of the tears of men lift your voice and pray it's for your glory pray for myself for my family are you praying koinonia i will give you the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places the treasures of darkness the hidden riches Pray, you're not wasting your time. I exempt myself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are two instruments of exemption from scripture. Are we together? The first instrument of exemption is the blood. When the last plague was about to be revealed, he told them, he said, get a lamb. Cut that lamb. Drain the blood. Put it upon your lintel. Whether you have personal faith or not, that's not the issue. Once I see the blood, I pass by. Listen, it was a mystery. As far as the angel of death was concerned, he killed everybody. But when he got to some homes, they were already dead. And so he passed. There was no need killing them. The blood was a sign that someone had died for them. And so the angel passed. And everywhere he did not see it. Let me tell you. There is a mark upon the saints. Please hear me. This thing you call recession and suffering is a spirit. It has eyes. It knows where to go to. Are we together? I'd like you to pray and pray plead the blood for the purpose of exemption upon your life and your family lift up your voice and pray oh plead the blood the blood is a weapon of supernatural exemption from accident supernatural exemption from terrorism supernatural exemption from wickedness supernatural exemption from the assaults of darkness no, 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 no death. No death. It's still a glorious year. Multiplied grace. Influenced by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are we praying? The second instrument of exemption is called favor. The second instrument of supernatural exemption is called favor. So every time your enemy wants to triumph, favor is not just for collecting things. It's an instrument for triumph lift your voice and say lord let favor exempt me lift your voice and pray the wickedness of men to destroy us the betrayal of men to mock our god 
including those close to us they may be family members but he says oh god this is how i will know that you have favored me when my enemies do not triumph over me Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be tired of praying. Don't be tired. Enlarge my territory. Lift your voice and pray. This dimension, this level, take me higher. Take me deeper. Enlarge my coast. Increase my influence. Enlarge my coast. Increase my influence. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 For a child shall die a hundred years old, but a sinner being a hundred years old shall be a cause. And they shall build houses and inhabit them. Listen. When the waster comes, it makes you labor. When it's time to enjoy, something happens. But he said they shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant fine yards and then they shall eat of them. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the works of their hands. You're going to pray and say, Lord, by the blessing, preserve me. The blessing upon my life preserves me supernaturally. Lift your voice and pray. Preserving you from destruction. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing upon it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing upon it. Destroy it not. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Destroy it not. There is a blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for Nigeria. Lift your voice and say, Lord, it's time for the prophetic destiny of this nation to arise. Lift your voice and pray. Nigeria. God's firstborn. Nigeria. The holy land. God's land. Nigeria, God's own nation. Nigeria, God's own nation. Lord, we command every spirit. Lord, we command every power. We prophesy to the north. We prophesy to the east. Hallelujah. Listen, listen, stretch your hands to the heavens, speak to the gates, we call our gates peace, we command the spiritual borders of this nation to 
will be secured secured from terrorism we command peace upon our walls peace upon our gates hallelujah hallelujah I want us to pray for our families. Many of our family members are confused. No matter how much you succeed in life, if your family members don't catch along, they will draw you back. Are we together? Are we together? We are going to pray. There are many families suffering. You see a family of 10 people, only one breadwinner. It's a cause. Are we together? It's a cause. But we are going to pray. There are many families that are dead. Once upon a time they were rich. Once upon a time they were blessed. Once upon a time they were walking. Now they were dead. In Ezekiel 37, it says, Son of man, can these bones live? They were an army. They were a family one time. But something happened and they died. They lost their structure. But it says, Son of man, if you want them to come to life, prophesy. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. The instrument we will use in our families right now is prophecy. I'd like you to prophetically call everything dead in your family. They can live again. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth and prophesy. I call every dead thing in my family. Come back to life. Come back to life. Every dead business. Come back to life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are coming back to ourselves now to pray. Please listen. The greatest gift a man can have is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't refrigerate it. You don't have to wear suits for it to work. It doesn't need battery. It doesn't need voting. Oh, come on. A man who pays the price to carry the power of the Holy Ghost is a man who will never beg for bread. A man who will never die in complex. Fill me up till I overflow. I want to go. I want to Fill me up. I overflow. I wanna Lord, put something upon my life that will force men to look for me. Lift your voice and pray. Place an anointing, oh God, upon my life. Place an ability. Come on, pray. An anointing that will cause Gentiles to come to your light. They are kings to the brightness of their rising. from heaven an ability that makes me an endangered species an unction 
from the throne room that will make men seek me. Pray, pray, pray. Pray. Shakata prakata rekotosh. Hallelujah. 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 Mark chapter 1, verse 36 and 37. We are going to pray. You must be relevant. It takes a gift, it takes value to be relevant. There is what can make men look for you. You have been looking for men. Stop looking for men. Look for grace. Grow to become valuable. Are we ready? Mark chapter 1, please. Mark 1, 36, 37. He said, And Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after him. And this is what happened. Next verse. May that be your prophecy in Jesus' name. Go ahead and read it. One to read. And when they had found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, every potential locked up in me, every gifting, every idea that will make men look for me to come with their treasures, to come with their bounties, every unction, every prophetic anointing, every healing anointing, every teaching grace, every entrepreneurial ability, every leadership ability, every intellectual prowess that will force men to look for me i cry for a release i cry for an activation i'm tired of looking for help i am tired of begging men oh god activate a grace upon my life pray from your heart hallelujah hallelujah we're rounding up we're going to sing this song god's ability sing it with all your heart and i want to prophesy upon you are we together there is an unction that can come upon you can come upon your business can come upon your academics can come upon your life you may be gifted but is your gift anointed it's one thing to be gifted but it's another thing for that gift to have an anointing when little brings much it is anointed when much brings much it is scientific when much brings little it is demonic but when little brings much it has to be supernatural it's working in me It's working in me God's ability God's ability It's working in me It's working in me One more time Lift your hands, I want to speak over your life. God's ability. That's what you see lifting this ministry. Recession proof, pain proof, stress proof by the unction of the spirit. Rising like an edifice as though Satan does not exist by a mystery no gate of hell can unravel what can it be it's God's ability God's ability it's working in me hallelujah I want to pray for you but I want to speak some blessings upon you it says early will I seek you to see your power and your glory in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary 
it's one thing to see the hand of god in a sanctuary help her please and then it's another thing to see it in your life it's one thing to see god move in koinonia but it's another thing to see it work in your life i want to pray for you no no something must land in your life please i want you to believe this with all your heart one of the gifts that god has given us in this ministry is the gift of helpers we never raise a voice to cry without somebody answering and it was a light god gave me it says you will call on man and a nation will answer i want to pray for you there is an unction that makes men come to your aid in the name of jesus right now by the power of the holy ghost in this night of prayer i release that anointing all over the building inside and outside receive that anointing right now receive that anointing right now receive that unction right now the unction that draws help us i tell you fire is falling on people the unction from heaven that calls help us to your life strange help us hallelujah we're still praying we're rounding up this prayer session i want to pray for you brothers and sisters if i tell you i do not know what the favor of god looks like i will be lying to you there is such a thing called the esther anointing god gave me this revelation in 2010 that there is an anointing called the esther anointing the bible says esther found favor on everyone who looked at her it was like a cloth she was wearing once you look at them the mantle comes upon you you must favor them listen there is such a grace when men make contact for as long as their eyes can see you something must force resources from them i pray for you in the name of the lord god of heaven by the mystery of favor Shakata baratata. I see this falling on people. Receive the Esther anointing now, now, now. Receive the Esther anointing. Enough is enough. I prophesy it inside, outside, everywhere, online. Receive the Esther anointing. Katapaka. Beketeleketa. The Esther anointing. Strange favor. Strange testimony strange favor i prophesy it let it enter your spirit i activate it let it work in your life strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor strange favor listen if you want to pay your way through life you will die young it's not about being rich it's about being favored it's not all about money there are some things money cannot do are we together favor we are going to pray for speed speed it's a grace that makes men run and do so much in a short time listen there is a cause of retrogression in many families and many lives it's not that they are stagnated but they are moving too slow when a man buys his first car at 70 years it's not a testimony are we together when our parents at 65 are still looking for money to complete lintel it's a cost many parents are waiting for their children to build for them but the bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children i want to pray for you there is such a thing as speed there is such a thing as speed some of us are moving god is helping us but if you are to be sincere your pace is slow financially is too slow in every wise ministerially is too slow entrepreneurially is too slow it's too slow are we together 
a woman can give birth to give birth to three children in 20 years is not a testimony are we together you take in five years after your marriage first child seven years later that's when you can take in again nine years later that's when the third one comes you are now using your pension to pay the secondary school fees of, of children it's a cost are we together the lord must send speed to our lives some of us the the things you planned from january till now not one you have not ticked it one no you need grace there, there is a grace that accelerates men are we together let me share this with you with all humility i went to check my list of the things that i was trusting god would do in my life i found out that certain things that were least for other years god had gone ahead to start doing them and i said lord you are faithful and the lord said if you trust me i can surprise you to the end of the year that's what god said and i believe it for us all we're praying we've been trusting god for a place of counseling you know because of the crowds that come and just last week a family i think they are represented here just came and met us and said they wanted to give us their whole church facility to be using for counseling at no charge that's the gift of men are we together the gift of men there's a song in my heart i'm not yoruba you know the song who knows the song we need to sing that song do you know the song? Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. Oh, see you. Oh, see you. Send it out a beer. Send it out a beer. Oh, see you. We're rounding up. Don't worry. Protocol make arrangement for as many buses, even if they have to come back multiple times. Don't be afraid. We're going to make sure if it's possible to transport everybody, we'll send you. So don't be afraid of time. Praise the Lord. It's part of the wicked, stupid things that poverty does for people. God wants to bless you. You are thinking we curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Focus and concentrate. We are blessed enough to take you home. Don't rob yourself of the miracle. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I want to speak from the depth of my heart. You need speed. This prayer session is important. You need speed in your life. Some of us, you are too slow. Everything you do is like the spirit of a tortoise. You are limping when others are flying. The Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord, they will renew their strength. He said, They will mount up with wings as eagles, riding through the current. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a grace that makes men catch up. Some of you, it's not even speed. What you need is restoration first before speed. Are we together? Hallelujah someone we used to know many years ago we had the opportunity of seeing that person this year and when we saw that person this year it was an apology it was horrible he was looking like a thief after many years do you know it's a terrible thing for you to be growing older and nothing is growing with you the only thing growing in your life is your age it's a cause are we together don't say you are too young to be blessed don't allow the curse that came with your village where the first person to take his head out of the water did it at 40 and they say you are too young too young for what you are not too young for trouble why should you be too too young for blessings when trouble comes people say it's all right but when blessings come they say well, how did this happen i want to pray with, for you let a, a dimension of speed that will make men ask you what are you using i pray for you in the name of jesus christ at the count of three may that unction for speed honestly from my heart let it fall on people lord i'm praying at the count of three 
release grace oh god move your people forward one two three take that grace now take that grace right now help them speed 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 shaparakata speed i command speed where you have been crawling start running start running start running where you have been running start flying start flying by prophecy start flying by prophecy start flying pursue overtake recover without fail i prophesy to you pursue overtake pursue overtake pursue overtake recover thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting my head thank you for lifting 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 in two minutes i'd like you to thank god expressions of deep gratitude lord i thank you speak to him in your language expressions of deep gratitude thank you jesus i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it i have prayed it my hands will handle it Hallelujah. 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 Please let me have your attention, everybody. There are people here right now. I'm going to make an altar call, two altar calls in one. Please, no moving around. Let's respect what God is doing now. There are people here. Probably you just came the first time you have been here. You have never truly made a commitment. Please listen. Don't be distracted, people outside and many who are following us online there are thousands of people following us online on our social media platforms if you are here please keep standing everybody i know we're tired but let's keep standing to encourage them there are people here who whilst the service was going on as we were praying the holy ghost was speaking to you and saying you need jesus in your life listen let me tell you something everybody is a product of god's grace and mercy no man condemns you but at the same time, he said, ye must be born again. Ye must be born again. Hallelujah. You are here, you've never made that commitment. Or at one point, you've made the commitment, but then for some reason, you found yourself living the things of God. You were angry at God. You were offended. Several things happened in your life. And you're saying, Lord, I'm coming back to you. Wherever you are, these two categories, it's my pleasure to lead you to Jesus. Please make it fast. Our time is gone. There are people outside. I appreciate them. The Holy Ghost is speaking to them. Don't wait for anybody to come out. You are the first. Take that bold step and make your way to the front very quickly. Very quickly. Inside and outside, if there are people coming, clear the way for them. Very quickly. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I believe there are still many more people. Make your way to the front. Those outside, in any of the overflows outside. Don't say, I'm so far. That's the lie of the devil. You're welcome. Make your way to Jesus run to jesus like there's fire on the mountain god bless you god bless you as you come god bless you as you come shame on the devil win that war over your destiny tonight and let him give you a new beginning let him be give you a new beginning hallelujah if you're still joining them make your way those of us in front thank you so much i love you and i salute you for coming lift your right hand and say it after me very boldly you're not reciting a poem say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe that you are the son of god tonight i ask for your mercy i ask for your grace i receive jesus into my heart as my savior
and my Lord and I declare that from today I am a child of God I'm saved I'm washed by the blood from today the Lord gives me a new beginning I am a member of the household of faith in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen I appreciate every one of you thank you so much for making this lovely decision it's the greatest decision you will ever make in your life now very quickly there's a gentleman waving his hands they are going to direct all of you so please make sure you follow them and they'll have your details they welcome you and then we'll get in touch with you thank you so much we love you and congratulations thank you for watching our entire video today if you feel you can bless someone please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media